Hello, da da da. Sorry. I have a surprise for you. I am going to analyze the AP set question paper. That will be our recap, and after that, we'll do American literature revision. Are you ready, guys? AP set has some really good questions. Many questions were easy. There is no need to panic. I hope all of you have done well. So, over to AP set discussion first. That will be like our recap. Okay. Can you read this? It's a little not clear. Name the work of John Gower. Name the work of John Gower dealing with the peasants' revolts. It is Vox Clementis. The work of John Gower dealing with the peasants' revolt is John Gower's work is Latin work Vox Clementis. All right. Second question. Name the book that was not translated by William Caxton, but was published by him. The book that was not translated by Caxton, but published by him. It is the Canterbury Tales. Okay, it is the Canterbury Tales. Are you loving this? It is a very good question paper. Complaints is a poetry collection by Edmund Spencer. Only first page is like this. After that, it is clear. Don't worry. Complaints is a poetry collection by Edmund Spencer. All of you might know it contains poems like The Ruins of Time, The Tears of the Muses, and Prosopopoeia. The Ruins of Time, The Tears of the Muses, Prosopopoeia. Altogether, there are nine poems. Complaints is a collection with nine poems. Only first page is not clear. After that, it is clear. Don't worry. Passion plays during the medieval times addressed the last stages of Jesus Christ's life. The passion plays were famous during the medieval times. It addressed the life of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Christopher Marlowe tells the story of a Mongol warrior. Mongol warrior is Tamburlaine. The Mongol warrior that Christopher Marlowe talks about is Tamburlaine. Tamburlaine the Great. Then, match the play and the type. Merchant of Venice is a comedy. Merchant of Venice is a comedy. Are only first page is not clear. Just wait, I will show you. Merchant of Venice is a comedy. Then, measure for measure is a problem play. Merchant of Venice is a comedy. Measure for Measure is a problem play. Time of Athens is a tragedy. And King John is a historical play. So answer is A. Answer is A. Merchant of Venice comedy. Measure for Measure problem play. Time of Athens is tragedy. And King John is historical play. Match the opening line of the poem and the poet who penned it. Match the opening line of the poem and the poet who penned it. That is also easy because we have had we but world enough and time. That is by, who is it by? It is by Andrew Marvel to his coy mistress. All kings and their favorites. Is it, it is from the anniversary poem of John Donne. All kings and their favorites. It is anniversary poem of John Donne. So A3, John Donne. Had we but world enough and time is Andrew Marvel to his coy mistress. My soul, there is a country. It is the poem Peace, P-E-A-C-E -E, by Henry Vaughan. It is a rare poem but doesn't matter. Anniversary poems you should know. Anniversary poems were two. Anniversary is a famous poem by John Donne. And to his coy mistress you should know. Indeed, I must confess is by Cowley. Indeed, I must confess is by Cowley. So, Platonic Love, that is the title of the play. Now, yo, I don't know how to show this. Ah, correct. Ching, ching. Okay. So, now it is going to be clear. Don't worry. 
Can you see now? Yeah. In Dunn's Good Friday. Can you see now? In Dunn's poem Good Friday. Dunn has written a poem called Good Friday. Okay. What form does a man's soul take? I always tell you. Please read, read, read original poems. Don't I tell you? The first line of Dunn's Good Friday is. Let man's soul be a sphere. Let man's soul be a sphere. So it is answer is sphere. Always read poetry. From there itself you will, you will get lots of questions. Okay guys. Thank you. So which of these is not a place in Bunyan's Pilgrim's Progress? Question number 9 I am talking about. Can you see everyone? Which of these is not a place in Bunyan's Pilgrim's Progress? Delectable, delectable mountains is there. Valley of the shadow of death is there. City of destruction is there. House of sorrow is not there. House of sorrow is not there. Delectable mountains is there. Valley of shadow of death is there. The city of destruction is there. Please everybody read our encyclopedia very very carefully. Majority of these questions are there in the encyclopedia. This is also easy. For we were nursed upon the self same hill. Somebody is talking about his friend. Both of them grew up together. And it is like shepherds. They are talking about shepherds. It is Lycidas. Lycidas. Milton is talking about Edward King. You know they are both shepherds. They were nursed upon the same hill. They fed the same flock. It is Lycidas famous lines. Read poetry. From there you will get a lot of questions. Arrange these works of John Dryden chronologically. Listen everybody. You should all know. He wrote all the heroic plays. And at the end he wrote all for love. All for love came at the end. All Dryden's heroic plays were written in rhyme. Or heroic couplet. And then he wrote all for love in blank verse. So if you know that you will get the answer. Because only one option has all for love at the end. Answer is D. First rival ladies. Then Indian queen. Then marriage a la mode. Then all for love. Did you understand? All for love came at the end. Now uh, one, one more question. Identify the play of Sheridan. That was altered from Van Brugh's relapse. I would say this is also easy because um, school for scandal def what is the meaning of what is the story of relapse one man is a very rakish man he is a womanizer and having fun in life his wife is uh, changing him his wife is changing him did you understand and then he cannot be changed because he relapses back to his old ways even though his wife changes him he once again becomes a womanizer and a an immoral man. That is the story of relapse. School for scandal is definitely wrong. Rivals is definitely wrong. Rivals is based on rehearsal. And sorry, critic is based on rehearsal. Rivals is based on the story of Captain Jack Absolute and Lydia Languish, their love. Did you understand? So the answer must be trip to Scarborough. Trip to Scarborough. Did you understand? Now, the character of Sir Roger de Cabal, he was introduced in the periodical. The Spectator, that is very easy. Roger de Cabal is in Spectator Club. Isaac Bickerstaff was a pseudonym originally used by Jonathan Swift in Bickerstaff Papers. All these questions are there in our encyclopedia. If you do not have a, an encyclopedia still, uh, if you have not bought it still, please uh, remember... I will give you a discount. You should buy it immediately. Okay. Isaac Bickerstaff. Originally the character created by Jonathan Swift. And that type, that name was also used by Steele. Richard Steele also used this name. Did you understand everyone? Now identify the character with the novel. Uh, Amy. Captain Booth. Commodore Trunnion. And Harriet Byron. Captain Booth is, you should remember, 
husband of amelia in the last novel by henry fielding in amelia the last novel by henry fielding it's a very important novel captain booth is her husband commodore trunnion is the most famous character created by uh, tobias smollett commodore trunnion very famous character did you understand commodore trunnion is in peregrine pickle if you know these then you will know the answers amy is in roxana harriet byron is in sir charles grandison amy is in roxana captain booth is in amelia commodore trunnion is peregrine pickle harriet byron is charles grandison okay guys now next question complete the title of the poem macflecno are a simple question macflecno or a satire upon the true blue protestant poet ts that is the answer okay our encyclopedia there are three volumes i will give in in our telegram group i am going to give a very amazing discount offer in our telegram group i will give an amazing discount offer okay uh, you can get it from our telegram group okay uh, mac actually every each of the encyclopedia real value is 900 rupees each or something but i can give it to you for the price of uh, one and a half encyclopedia don't worry Uh, your telegram uh, you are all very valuable to me join the telegram group by sending me a whatsapp message and you can get all our pdf and also the encyclopedia don't worry 90% so many questions i wouldn't say 90% 50% of questions are coming from encyclopedia uh, of british literature then why don't you buy it you it is worth it isn't it right next question let not ambition uh mock their useful toil their homely joys and destiny obscure these are very famous lines from thomas gray's elegy written in a country churchyard El elegy written in a country churchyard did you understand now identify the poem that is part of the lyrical ballads all of you must famous it, it is very famous all of you must know it is uh tintin abbey tintin abbey is the first poem in lyrical ballads isn't it tintin abbey is the first poem in lyrical ballads now next question ready guys in uh, where am i reading from oh one more question was there this side wait a minute here the conversation poems are a group of poems by samuel taylor coleridge the conversation poems are by Samuel Ta Samuel Taylor Coleridge. Now, one more question. In Dickens's Great Expectations, the character Pip, when in London, meets and stays with Herbert Pocket. Upon meeting, they recognize each other. How does Pip remember Herbert Pocket? How does Pip remember Herbert Pocket? Pip remembers Herbert Pocket because. they had already seen each other at miss havisham's house years earlier years earlier they had already seen each other in uh, miss havisham's house now why did the earnshaws in wuthering heights name the orphan heathcliff because they had a son called heathcliff and that heathcliff died yes i know manmohan sahu the all this is there in encyclopedia uh their son was dead and named after that dead dead son it is heathcliff now who discusses cosmology this is also from encyclopedia rafael in books 5 6 7 and 8 of paradise lost uh, rafael in books 5 6 7 and 8 discusses cosmology the beginning of cosmo uh, the, the cosmos the making of the cosmos so many, not only manmohan at least 50 people in this group out of 100 would have encyclopedia <laughs> yeah identify the author of the book this is also from encyclopedia jabber walkie is by lewis carroll jabber walkie is by lewis carroll now next question guys just give me a minute i'm just coming taking the questions 
24. Name Blake's work. Name the work of Blake that ends with the song of liberty and was greatly influenced by Milton's Paradise Lost. It is given in Encyclopedia, The Marriage of Heaven and Hell. It has a discussion of Paradise Lost and it is greatly influenced by Paradise Lost. It is the marriage of heaven and hell. Okay, the marriage of heaven and hell. Now listen everybody, who was a Victorian poet who first started writing under the pseudonym Boss? Encyclopedia, Charles Dickens. Charles Dickens. Then, I will post the PDF of this paper with answers in uh, our telegram group. Don't worry. This above all, to thine own self be true. Again, it is Hamlet. Polonius is advising Laertes. This above all, to thine own self be true. And it must follow as the night, the day. Thou canst not then be false to any man. Polonius is this. Uh, advising Laertes. The this is also an encyclopedia question. The name of Darcy's estate in Austin's Pride and Prejudice is Pemberley. Pemberley. Okay, next question. Where did old Thomas Carr do in the importance of being earnest? Again, encyclopedia question. Uh, find Jack as a baby. Jack as a baby was found inside a handbag in a cloak room at Victoria Station. Then, identify the author and the work from this quote. I care for myself. The more solitary, the more friendless, the more unsustained I am, the more I will respect myself. It is Charlotte Bronte's Jane Eyre. Sibyl mentioned at the beginning of T.S. Eliot's Wasteland is the Cumaean Sibyl. I have said that in Encyclopedia again. If music be the food of love, play on. Food of love, opening line of 12th night. It is the opening line of 12th night. Okay, that is also there in Encyclopedia. Modern essay. This is what Virginia Woolf says about Max Beerbohm. In modern essay, Virginia Woolf talks about the essayist Max Beerbohm. We only know that the spirit of personality permeates every word that he writes. I think this question already came in another exam. Do you remember some other exam? This question already came. In Bernard Shaw's Pygmalion, Higgins says, Remember that you are a human being with a soul and the divine gift of articulate speech. Famous line from Pygmalion. Uh, in Pygmalion, Higgins says, remember that you are a human being with a soul and the divine gift of articulate speech. And he says, in the next line, he says, your native language is the language of Shakespeare and Milton and of the Bible. <laughs> it is uh, last D, Shakespeare, Milton and the Bible. Then, what is common? Amongst Cardinal Newman, John Keble and Edward Bowery Pusey. They were all associated with the Oxford movement. They were all associated with the Oxford movement. Who says, come my friends, it is not too late to seek a newer world. Of course, it is Ulysses by Tennyson. He is asking his friends to come, let us go and conquer the world. Right? Now, Guys, please join our telegram group, okay? I'm going to send this PDF and also amazing offers. This Victorian novelist wrote many poems too. Wessex poems, of course, it is Thomas Hardy. Thomas Hardy also wrote Wessex poems. Now, identify the play that is not penned by Arthur Miller. A view from the bridge is written by Arthur Miller. Listen everybody, let me teach you a little bit. Listen everybody, in uh, a view from the bridge, in a view from the bridge, I'm talking about this first work, a view from the bridge, there, Alfieri is the narrator, Alfieri is the narrator and uh, here, uh, Alfieri is talking about Eddie, Eddie is uh, in love with his wife's knees, Eddie is in love with his wife's knees. That is the story. This is in a Brooklyn community. And bridge means Brooklyn Bridge. Brooklyn Bridge. Then, The Prize is a, novel, is a play by Arthur Miller. Both these are Arthur Miller. The Prize is about a man and his wife, Victor and his wife. 
they are selling their parents estate and the price of the furniture is the title price of the furniture only today i taught this i think today or yesterday i taught this and american clock is also by arthur miller american clock is about depression great depression baum family b a u m the skin of our teeth is not by arthur miller it is by thornton wilder who changes places with a pauper in prince and the pauper it is henry the 8th's son edward the 6th remember henry the 8th's wife jane seymour who lives in wolf hall that's jane seymour's son is edward the 6th did you understand and the other man the pauper is tom candy tom candy uh o oh, to be in england it is from home thoughts from abroad by robert browning o oh, to be in england it is the opening lines of home thoughts from abroad published uh, prescribed in many universities again 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 i am reminding you please read the poems april is the cruelest month t s eliot of course april is the cruelest month everybody knows t s eliot if i should die think only this of me that is the opening line of so the soldier by rupert brook rupert brook's sentimental patriotic poem did you understand so rupert brook's the soldier guys telegram name is wallet stes public group but somehow that link is not working in the uh, youtube chat box so just whatsapp me and i will send uh, auto, you will automatically get the telegram link okay i have no other reason for asking you to whatsapp me i will not whatsapp you back or anything don't worry just join the telegram group from the link and uh, automatically you will get the link that is the easiest thing no time waste okay now uh, uh, whatsapp number abhi abhi bheja hai maine whatsapp me that's all whatsapp me you will get all the pdf and also all these links and also offers if you don't want don't no problem if you want you can use it the whiskey on your breath i i didn't know that it is by theodore rothke okay next question ready guys are uh, one minute guys kuch garbad ho gaya give me one minute i'm just sorting it out ha huh. <laughs> everything is <laughs> this is 40 re question number 40 <laughs> one minute i am stupid ah aa gaya which of these statements is true of the international booker prize only recently the new writer david diop not the old writer david diop new writer david diop got international booker prize international booker prize is awarded to a book translated in english and also it has to be published in uk or ireland it is one and two international booker prize is for a book translated in english and it has to be published in uk or ireland now in this exam what is different is they have asked two three questions from uh, very contemporary things like they have asked the, about the author of hunger games suzain collins everybody might know is the author of hunger hunger games did you understand you know that right it is a very popular dystopian series isn't it the it's a trilogy suzain collins's hunger games is a trilogy hunger games catching fire and mocking jay and this is the answer hunger games was the first it is for people who know it is very easy hunger games catching fire mocking jay this is the answer only yesterday i taught you black mountain school remember yesterday i taught you black mountain school robert creeley i taught you remember wow from yesterday's question there was answer 
this thing. Um, answer for this is Nathan this is easy. Nathaniel Hawthorne transcendentalism. Actually, it is wrong. Nathaniel Hawthorne was a critic of transcendentalism. He was not a transcendentalist, he was a critic. Ah, now, Kingsley Amis is a movement poet. Poet, nahi actually. Kingsley Amis is movement. Uh, ah, movement poet. Robert Creeley is Black Mountain School. Jack Kerouac is beat poetry. Did you understand? Beat poetry. Anjali, I have a very good book in Bodhi Tree, which is based on uh, Booker Prize winners and their summaries also. Summary also. Which of these critics is known for his work on reader response? Of course, it is Stanley Fish. Stanley Fish. Is there a text in this class? Now, identify the poem with this opening line. This is no country for old men. It is WBH's Sailing to Byzantium. WBH's Sailing to Byzantium. This is all there in encyclopedia. Now, Lorraine Hansberry's play, that is a parody for Waiting for Godo. Only yesterday I mentioned Lorraine Hansberry and I told you please read extra, isn't it? Uh, no, New Lines is by Robert Conquest. Listen everybody, Lorraine Hansberry is the author of A Raisin in the Sun. She has written a parody of Waiting for Godo. It is called The Arrival of Mr. Todog. Waiting and Arrival, easy to guess, isn't it? The Arrival of Mr. Todog. Like Godot, T-O-D-O-G, see? Hmm. Now, Manhattan Music is by Meena Alexander. Nampali Road, Manhattan Music. Both are by Meena Alexander. Novels. Which novel by Hemingway is a Roman a clef? It is The Sun Also Rises. The Sun Also Rises. It is based on his travels to Paris and Spain and also based on his real friends. Hemingway's real friends. Guys, did you like the video? I hope you are loving this. Is it helping you everyone? Do you want me to explain even more? Okay. Mark, uh, I will send the Mark Dance uh, PDF in the Telegram group, Rahila. Please pay attention, Rahila. You are not paying attention. You are just saying other things. Pay attention now. I will send this in the telegram group. Which novel of Hemingway is a Roman, Roman a clef? Ah, I will explain. Roman a clef means um, a novel with real life connections. A novel with real life connections. It will be connected to some real people, real incidents, etc. Okay. Now, Sam Shepard stated that his phobia regarding flying was the source of for a character in the play Dash, flying must be Icarus's mother. And that is the answer. Icarus is associated with flying, isn't it? So it is Icarus's mother. Roman Eclef. How many times I should explain Khaled? Aren't you listening? Novel with a key. Yes. What does that mean? It means a novel with real life connections. My telegram group is Balat's Test Public Group. Now, identify the film series. Again, see, I told you film series and all they are asking. It is Rambo. Rambo set against Vietnam War. Identify the author who won a Nobel Prize and whose first novel was Cup of Gold. Cup of Gold is by John Steinbeck. Harry Morgan, the buccaneer or the privateer is the hero. In John Steinbeck's Cup of Gold. Telegram group naam hai, but let's test public group. That's why I am saying it is easier to WhatsApp me. However, many times I say you don't understand. Na? Again, again you are asking. That's why. But let's test public group, search karo. But let's test group. Now, name the novel which ends with this statement. He heard the ring of steel against steel as a far door clanged shut. It is a famous ending of Native Son. Who is he? Bigger Thomas. Bigger Thomas is the uh, protagonist of Richard Wright's Native Son. Did you understand? Yeah. Uh, identify the writer. 
who has works such as reservation blues the lone ranger it is all there in our material it is sherman alexi native american sherman alexi then uh, the gracian award is constituted for the best literary work uh, in sri lanka it was founded by michael ondache michael ondache uh, used his booker money to make this award did you understand name the author of four kinds of meaning four kinds of meaning he uh, initiated practical criticism it is ia richards ia richards judging from self reliance one sees that emerson was a strong promoter of individualism emerson promoted individualism she was a victorian poet who wrote sonnets from the portuguese it is elizabeth barrett browning <coughs> elizabeth barrett browning are i am not typing because aise nahi mil raha that is why wallets tess public group that is the name of the group wallets tess wallets i think i don't know no wallet nahi wallets i think wallets tess s is there wallets tess public group yeah which indian poet has penned these lines i am indian very brown born in malabar i speak three languages right in two dream in one it is kamala das in the poem and introduction kamala das in the poem and introduction now question number 58 ready everyone Uh, what could be described as the major theme in Ezekiel's Night of the Scorpion? It is the irrationality of people. All these are there, but irrationality of people seems to be more correct. The Keeper of the Dead is the Sahitya Academy Award-winning work by K. K. N. Daruwala. K. K. N. Daruwala. Okay, map maker, Keeper of the Dead, landscapes, everything is K. K. N. Daruwala. Tom guns on the move man you got to go it is based on motorcycle gangs on the move man you got to go it is based on uh, or you know motorcycle gangs which french author said that women should write from the body instead of using patriarchal writing schemes women should write from the body said elaine sisu elaine sisu option a and she was also critiqued for being essentialist for saying this she was also critiqued for being essentialist did you understand now who wrote speculum of the other woman i think this was also asked in pyq hai it is lucy irigeri speculum of the other woman lucy irigeri then wings of fire is a work by apj abdul kalam wings of fire is a work by A P J Abdul Kalam. Identify the correct match. One night at the call center is by Chetan Bhagat. That is the answer. Chetan Bhagat. One night at the call center. These are all wrong. And now, now, uh, M K Gandhi's uh, autobiography was translated into English by Mahadev Desai. Mahadev Desai. What are the arguments that Macaulay makes to explain? why english is a good language to be taught to indians it stands preeminent even among the languages of the west correct it abounds with works of imagination correct the grammar of english is superior nahi ancient language bhi nahi 1 and 2 is the answer 1 and 2 is the answer i think then in many language theories uh, it is considered that speech is dash and writing is dash speech is primary and writing is secondary is correct speech is primary and writing is secondary was it correct
Immortals of Meluha were songs of Meluha. Songs of Meluha hai kya? Immortals of Meluha hai na? Why did you say it is correct? A.D. Who, who he, did he write songs of Meluha? I never saw that. What are the books of Shiva trilogy? Immortals of Meluhas, Vayubhutras and something else. Yeah. They are all saying it is correct. Sorry. Now, uh, ESL means what? ESL means got confused. ESL is English as second language. Then ESOL is English of speakers, English to speakers of other languages. Teaching, TESOL, teaching English to speakers of other languages. EFL is English as a foreign language. And ESP is English for special purposes. So answer is A. A. Ah, secret of Nagas, correct. Immortals of Meluha, secret of Nagas and Vayuputra. There is no songs of Meluha. When a Telugu speaker explains a recipe, Konchan fry cheste, Kristiga undundi. Please fry a little bit until it is crispy. It is cold mixing. Hena, it is cold mixing. Now, according to Longinus, the most important source of the sublime is lofty cast of mind. Low, uh, you know, lofty cast of mind. That is the most important source of the sublime. What is the first step of research? The first step of research is survey of literature. Nahi. Identification of the problem area is right. Identification of the problem area. Which uh, the following is not part of research of humanities. It is laboratory work. Laboratory work is not part of humanities. Do you understand? Then the research scholars of English literature normatively follow the dash type. It is MLA type. MLA, MLA. Ere Sanjaya, mujhe pata hai. Konjan fry cheste. Crispy ga undundi. <laughs> now, insight citations is also known as insight, sorry, in text citations is also known as parenthetical citation. Listen, everybody, listen, everyone. When you write a thesis inside a paragraph in brackets, you will put author, name, and page number. Henna, that is called. In text citation or parenthetical citation. The false assumption of co authorship, the wrongful act of taking the product of another person's mind, it is plagiarism. Plagiarism. Okay, guys. Which of these statements is true regarding Stone Angel? Now, here I have a doubt. Here I am not clear. I think there is 78. I think I missed out some questions. Wait, 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 wait. Huh. Uh, match the regional setting with the author. Malgudi is R.K. Narayan. Manavaka is Margaret Lawrence. Yokina Patafa is Faulkner. Then main is Sarah Orn Jewett. Did you understand? Then, Shyam Selvadure's funny boy can be called a dash novel, coming of age novel, coming of age. This one I have a doubt. Hagar is a headstrong woman is correct. One is correct. But then they have given one and two and one and four. Hagar is a religious person is not fully correct because Hagar is always skeptical about religion. Hagar, the stone angel is a religious symbol and she is skeptical about religion actually. She is a religious person. It's not fully true. Hagar is proud of her Scottish tradition. I am a little confused. I think I would take one and four. 
I would take, but she is not proud of her Scottish tradition also, I think. Uh, RG is in funny boy, correct. Mm, three is wrong, correct. Three is wrong. I don't know this. I, I, I don't know uh, whether she is proud of her Scottish tradition. Definitely she is not a religious person completely. Anyway, identify the novel of Margaret Atwood based on a murderess. It is Alias Grace. Alias Grace. Then, David Lurie, famous character in Disgrace by J.M. Kutse. He is an English professor. Hena. Then, Ngugi Vationgo's novel Petals of Blood is taken from The Swamp by Derek Walcott. Petals of Blood title taken from the swamp. Ha, one and four are correct, I think. One and two are not. Then, Innu Ego is in Joys of Motherhood. Innu Ego is in Joys of Motherhood. Then, which existentialist, which existentialist philosopher thought? I would say John Paul Sartre. Because he wrote No Exit, where he says hell is other people. I think this is John Paul Sartre. Hell is other people. He also says the same idea in uh, being and nothingness. Affective fallacy. B William K. Wimsatt and Monroe C. Beardsley. Wimsatt and Beardsley. Am I doing well today guys or are you bored? If you want me to go slow or explain or do something, please tell me. Sometimes guys I am not explaining because I don't know completely. That is why. I mean, something I know, but everything I don't know. That is why. But it is better than many people who say complete blunders and argue that it is right. Na? I know that there are people like that also who say complete blunders and argue this is right. Better than that is to say, I don't know, guys. I will also learn with you. I am humble. My, uh, <laughs> I can't just pretend to be no all. I am not at all no all. <laughs> now, uh, Peter Carey's first collection of short stories. Peter Carey, very important writer. You should clearly read Peter Carey. You may get questions from Peter Carey. Peter Carey is the author of two Booker Prize winning novels. Oscar and Lucinda, True History of the Kelly Gang. Hena. Uh, to join my group, please WhatsApp me, guys. I have been saying this every day, na? WhatsApp me and you will get the Telegram link. Automatically, you will get the Telegram link. Peter Carey's first collection of short stories is The Fat Man in History. The Fat Man in History. Then, which Australian playwright? All this is there in my Australian literature videos and presentation classes. Australian playwright... Who wrote Dawn's Party? It's there in my notes, in our notes. It is David Williamson. Every day at 7, one complete course was there, na? In every day at 7, I used to teach all this. Udgaru Nunukal. Uh, that is also there in our material. It is going to be next encyclopedia also. It is Kath Walker. Kath Walker is Udgaru Nunukal, Australian writer, Aboriginal. Now, some grammar questions. Which of the following is an exclamatory sentence? How wonderful that the manager has sent the letters in time. That is exclamatory. Now, the bark of the cinnamon tree and bark of the dog. They are homophones. Homophones. Homophone means same sound but different meanings. Then, next question. We were playing cricket when he sprained his ankle last week. We were playing cricket. That is past continuous. The verb tense is the verb tense of the main clause. We were uh, playing cricket. That is past continuous. I suggested going to dinner. I suggested going. That is gerund. We couldn't see the film after the electricity went out. The underlined word is a subordinating conjunction. Because it starts the subordinating clause. Main clause is what? We couldn't see the film. Subordinating clauses after the electricity went out. Did you understand? Would you like, to, would you like me to start grammar classes for literature postgraduates? Grammar classes for literature postgraduates would you like? I am just asking. 
<laughs> if I have time, I can do that. Now, the essay, the death of the author, begins with the interpretation of Dash story. It is Balzac's S. Bar Z. Saracen also. S. Bar Z and also death of the author starts about Saracen, Balzac, Saracen. Now, just a few more questions. Mass the literary work and the author. Do you know these literary works, guys? Bark and bark. Same sound and different. Is that homonym? What is homonym? Homonym is, uh, you know, uh, pigeon and bird, na? Homonym is pigeon and bird, na? Same spelling and pronunciation but different meanings and origins. Oh, then hyponymy. Oh, okay, okay. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It is homonym, correct. Homonym, homonym. Sorry, sorry. Homonym, correct, correct. I suddenly got confused with hyponymy. Hyponyms. Correct, correct, correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same spelling. Correct, correct. Uh, they are marked also correct. I wrongly said it. Now, uh, next question is, what, uh, it is not homophone, it is homonym. Correct, correct. Sir, correct, correct. What would be this event then? He's somebody is talking about an event. Its exterior form would be that of a rupture and a redoubling. It is Jacques Derrida talking about the event. 93rd question I missed. Eh? Oh, what is the meaning of anagnorisis? Anagnorisis is obviously what? It is the hero's recognition of the tragic flaw. Anagnorisis is hero's recognition of the tragic flaw. Okay. Now, what is the famous work of criticism written by Sharan Kumar Limbale? It is towards an aesthetic of Dalit literature. Match the literary work with the author. Haram Skaram Sar is Bahamas. Dalit, Dalit. These are Dalit writers. And father may be an elephant and mother only a small basket. It is Gogu Shyamala. Telugu writer. Milinda is by Manasa Yandluri. Again, Telugu writer. Grip of Change is by Shivakami. Grip of Change is by Shivakami. Tamil, Tamil. Remember that. Next is Identify the poem read out to commemorate the 50th anniversary of the UN. It is the, a brave and startling truth by Maya Angelou. Shivani, it is AP set question paper. Instead of our recap session, I thought I will do AP set question paper discussion. It is a jazz affair. Drum crashes and cornet raises. The trombone pony neighs. What is this? Onomatopoeia. Onomatopoeia. And the last question, hundreds question. I didn't know that. Benjamin Benecker was a black American polymath. Uh, about whom, about him, who has written a poem titled Benecker? Benjamin Benecker, Black American Polymath. It is Rita Dove. Rita Dove is a very famous African American poet. Benecker is by Rita Dove. Alright guys, did you like the discussion? Yeah, it gives us confidence because it's very easy, Hana. It is easy. I hope all our... Uh, Andhra Pradesh friends will pass this exam. Now ready for American Literature Revision everyone. Hamara session shuru hone wala hai. American Literature. Ready guys? Tada dang! Are it is our ninth day. Everybody, I'm going to uh, ask you the first question. If you have not liked the video, please like it guys. What is the name of the island? I will explain, okay? Don't worry. I will explain. What is the name of the island where Captain John Yossarian and his squadron are stationed? We will go slow. We won't rush. Bolo. What is this island where Captain John Yossarian and his squadron are stationed? 
It is the island of Pianosa. Island of Pianosa. In which novel is this? It is in the novel Catch-22 by Joseph Heller. In Joseph Heller's Catch-22, what is happening? Tell me. The Second World War is going on and Captain John Yossarian and his friends are Bombardier Pilots. Bombardier Pilots. Did you understand? Yes, Hina, I will restart UPHESE. I, will, I think I will start a course itself in UPHESE. I'm thinking. Uh, Captain John Yossarian and his squadron are stationed in Pianosa. They are Bombardier Pilots. Did you understand? And these Bombardier Pilots are... Uh, they are fed up with war. They are fed up with war. They want to go back home. They don't like this war. So many horrendous things are happening in war. And they don't want to remain here. They want to go back home. But the problem is, there is no way to go back home. If they say they are going out of their mind, we are going crazy, send us back, then they will never believe it. Uh, the authorities will never believe it. And... Uh, if, if they say they want to go back, they might even be killed. They are in a catch-22 situation. That means either way they cannot win. They cannot win however they try. And what happens is they have to just remain in the war and uh, they have to somehow uh, wait for the war to get over. That is the only way to uh, get back home. So this is the story of Joseph Heller's Catch-22. Will you remember? It is a Second World War novel. Captain John Yossarian in Italy, the island of Pianosa. Will you remember, guys? This word, Catch-22, became a common word in English language after this novel. Because of this novel, the word Catch-22 became a common word. Catch-22 situation. Correct. Okay. Thank you. Next question. Who is Yossarian's uh, navigator? So they might ask you some textual questions also. When you study major books, when you read about major books, always look up characters. Always make sure you know what are the major symbols. Okay. It is Arfi. Arfi is a very major character in uh, Catch-22. Remember that, will you? Arfi is a major character in Catch-22. Which of the following does Saul Bellow share with his title character in Herzog? Is it birthplace, career, circumstances of early life or life's principles? These are all amazing questions. I am so happy. So many of our research and development team members are working on such questions. Bolo. Saul Bellow's title character Herzog shares the circumstances of early life. What is the story of Herzog? There is a middle-aged man called Herzog and he is writing letters to everybody under the sun. You know, like whom? Like our Anna Wolf is writing uh, in a black book, yellow book, black book, red book, yellow book and blue book. And also like Celie is writing. You know, letters to everybody under the sun. And uh, uh, what happens is, you know, he's, why is he writing like this? He is trying to um, come to terms with his own life. In Saul Bellows Herzog, he is writing letters so that he can somehow come to terms with his own life. And uh, it is Moses Herzog, his real name is. He is having some midlife crisis. Did you understand? He has just divorced a second time and he is not able to uh, come to terms with his past. He is not able to forgive his um, wife and uh, you know friends. And he is always writing, mentally writing letters. And he never sends these letters. These letters are never sent also. They are sent, they are written for his family, friends, uh, famous people, uh, etc. And uh, this is uh, usually Saul Bellows novels are set in Chicago and New York. 
Here also Chicago and New York are the important places. This is a very autobiographical novel and it is written in a uh, completely um, new style. The novel, the letters are there only at the beginning of the novel. Slowly the letters reduce and the, the mind of the protagonist is shown in Herzog. Clear everybody? And there are so many other important works by Saul Bellow. Saul Bellow was the most famous um, Jewish American writer. Saul Bellow was the most famous Jewish American writer. He got Pulitzer Prize, Nobel Prize. And uh, he uh, is his first, uh, his major novels are uh, the adventure. First novel is The Dangling Man, then Victim. And then came his first major novel, The Adventures of Augie March. It is set in Chicago. There is a famous opening line. Adventures of Augie March has a famous opening line. What is that opening line? I am American Chicago born. I am an American Chicago born. Will you remember guys? That is the famous opening line of The Adventures of Augie March. And he has also written Seize the Day, Henderson the Rain King, Mr. Samler's Planet, Humboldt's gift, yes. Yesterday also we mentioned. So I am just repeating so that you will remember. Is it good that I am repeating? Are you loving this? And uh, uh, Saul Bellow has also written short stories. He has also written uh, three, four short story collections. Will you remember? And Herzog is based on the circumstances of his early life. When Slaughterhouse 5 was published, it made a forceful statement against which conflict? Slaughterhouse 5 is by Kurt Vonnegut. Kurt Vonnegut. Yesterday I said, remember, Slaughterhouse 5 is about a group of people, soldiers. They are taking refuge in an underground meat storage house. In a slaughtery, there is a, an underground meat, meat storage house. And the storage, storage of meat is compared to the butchery of people in the world war. Getting me guys? The storage of meat is compared to the butchery, butchering of people in the world war. To which two people do... No, I didn't answer this. Which is the answer? It is Vietnam War. Vietnam War. Slaughterhouse 5 is uh, set against uh, the second uh, world war actually. And it, it's set against Vietnam War. It is... For, set against Second World War, but it is a powerful statement about Vietnam War. It was at the same time as Vietnam War. To which two people did uh, Kurt Vonnegut dedicate the novel Slaughterhouse 5? It is a tough question. If you don't study, you won't know. I will tell you the answer. It is Mary O'Hare and Gerhard Müller. Mary O'Hare and Gerhard Müller. Müller. Is it useful for you? I would love to know if it is useful for you. Please uh, like the video guys. Have you all subscribed to our channel? Every day without missing it you should get all our videos. Please subscribe and also please share with your friends. There is another very important writer called John Updike. John Updike has written rabbit series of novels. Rabbit series. And in this rabbit series, he has written about Harry Rabbit Angstrom. The, uh, the protagonist of these novels is Harry Rabbit Angstrom. And this character is called Rabbit. That is why. Now, which novel brought to him the comment, the most gifted writer of his generation? Pulitzer Prize winning novel, Rabbit Run. Rabbit Run is a famous novel. Okay, then. Tetralogy nahi hai. Uske, it is not, it is more than four. Rabbit series, in Rabbit series, I think there are more than four novels. Rabbit series by John Updike. Hmm. Rabbit Run, Rabbit Redux. Four only? Okay, okay. Thank you for that. Uh, I thought there are more. 
Oh, thank you for telling me that. I'm uh, learning from you. Thank you so much. It is only four novels. Uh, four and a half, yes. Because we never... Rabbit Remembered. Yeah, last one is Rabbit Remembered. Correct, I remember now. In our notes, I have put more than four. It is Rabbit Remembered. Five are there, actually. Thank you, Shubhangi. Right. Now, which character did Ralph Ellison create to symbolize the Communist Party's betrayal of the black community? Remember, uh, Comrade K.N.M. Pillai in God of Small Things, he also is uh, an anti-communist. I mean, uh, no, communist who is anti-poor, um, anti-veluta. Uh, <laughs> like that, here, there is Brother Jack. Brother Jack is a character uh, created by Ralph Ellison to symbolize the Communist Party's betrayal of the black community. Communist Party did not side with the blacks, like KNM Play did not side with the untouchable in God of Small Things. Will you remember? Then, in whose works do we see Iceberg Principle? Iceberg Principle being used. What do you mean by Iceberg Principle? Iceberg Principle means everything is not described in detail. Only some parts of the sentence or some things of the story are told. Other things are left for the reader. Iceberg Principle is famously associated with Ernest Hemingway. Ernest Hemingway uh, also associated with Iceberg Principle. Who is the narrator in J. G F. Scott Fitzgerald's The Great Gatsby? Great, uh, Great Gatsby is a story of J. Gatsby and J. Gatsby is in love with Daisy Faye Buchanan. Okay, the protagonist is J. Gatsby. He is in love with Daisy Faye Buchanan and Daisy's cousin Nick Carraway is the narrator. Daisy's cousin Nick Carraway is the narrator. Okay. Which writer named the post-World War I generation the lost generation? Which writer named the post-World War I generation the lost generation? Brother nahi cousin. Well, uh, it is Gertrude Stein. Gertrude Stein was a writer. He was an art collector. And all the post, uh, gener this generation people used to meet in Gertrude Stein's house. Gertrude Stein, yesterday I asked you, what is the question I asked you yesterday? She wrote the autobiography of Alice B. Toklas. She wrote the autobiography of Alice B. Toklas. Remember guys? Right. Edith Wharton was the first female recipient of the Pulitzer Prize. This novel was about a man who married the wrong cousin and is unhappy and yearns for her cousin, not his, her cousin. The wrong woman, I, sh I will say. He married the wrong woman and is unhappy and yearns for her cousin. What is the title of this book that won Pulitzer Prize? Yes, it is The Age of Innocence. And you perhaps know that The Age of Innocence is based on, indirectly based on, the portrait of a lady. The portrait of a lady, Isabel Archer. In uh, Age of Innocence, we have the protagonist is Newland Archer. Protagonist is Newland Archer. Okay, guys. Thank you. Then, which of the following novels does not form the Dust Bowl trilogy? You know that Dust Bowl trilogy was written by John Steinbeck. John Steinbeck wrote the Dust Bowl trilogy about the people of Oklahoma, the Okies, who are leaving their land and going to California. The people of Oklahoma, the, the uh, Okies, are leaving their land and going to California because of the Dust Bowl. And this story is told in Dust Bowl Trilogy. The three novels of Dust Bowl Trilogy are In Dubious Battle, Of Mice and Men and The Grapes of Wrath. East of Eden is not part of Dust Bowl Trilogy. East of Eden is not part of Dust Bowl Trilogy. Who amongst the following 
uh, which among the following works by Vila Kadar is about life on American frontier? Which of these is a novel by Vila Kadar on the life in American frontier? It is my Antonia. O Pioneers is not by is 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 O Pioneers by Villa Kadar? No. Uh, Villa Kadar wrote. I'm confused. Ah, it is also by Villa Kadar. Title is taken from uh, that, but that is also by that is also about frontier, isn't it? Hmm. Okay, my Antonio. Remember Villa Kadar, important writer of the Pi uh, frontier. Now, which among the following novels by John Steinbeck brings to life the lives of two families, the Trasks and the Hamiltons, and their interwoven stories? The Trasks and the Hamiltons, and their interwoven stories. We are asking, uh, we are talking about John Steinbeck. It is a, a very important novel by John Steinbeck. It is set in the Salinas Valley, Valley in California. Most of his novels are set in the Salinas Valley in California only. Samuel Hamilton and he is a farmer. His wife is Lisa. They grow up. Sorry, they bring up their children. They live in the... It is east of Eden. East of Eden. And... Uh, Adam Trask purchases that their ranch. Adam's life is then seen in flashback. He had been in the military. He wandered all over the country. And there is another story of Kathy. Grapes of Wrath nahi hai. Grapes of Wrath is about totally different thing. What is the name of the um, family in Grapes of Wrath? Bolo. What is the name of the family in Grapes of Wrath? The Jod family. J-O-A-D. In Grapes of Wrath we have the Jod family. Dust Boat Trilogy is also by John Steinbeck only. John Steinbeck only. Trasks and Hamiltons are in East of Eden. Which novel of Bernard Malabad has the protagonist who is a baseball player? The protagonist of which of these novels is a baseball player? It is a novel by Bernard Malabad. It is The Natural. I am just telling you these stories so that you will remember to look up these writers okay then you don't have to burn books to destroy a culture just get people to stop reading them who said this who said this why did he say this about burning books why did he say this because in his Famous novel, there, the, his famous novel is about burning books. His famous novel presents a future America where books are banned. Books are considered bad. And any, there are firemen everywhere. There are firemen in that country. And they are burning books. It is in Ray Bradbury's Fahrenheit 451. Fahrenheit 451. The title is the temperature at which book paper catches fire and burns. That is why it is called Fahrenheit 451.
Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury. Identify the right pair. Ready guys? A Thousand Splendid Sons is not by Paulo Coelho. Who wrote A Thousand Splendid Sons? Khaled Hosseini. Which is the right prayer? C prayer is correct. C prayer by Khaled Hosseini. Please read about these authors. They are very important. Remember. Then. Which novel of Truman Capote is labeled non-fiction novel? Which of these novels by Truman Capote is a non-fiction novel? About the murder of four members of a Kansas farming family by two murderers. Four members of a Kansas farming family. That real story is fictionalized in the novel In Cold Blood. In Cold Blood is faction novel or non-fiction novel. Will you remember? Faction or non-fiction. To which of the following genres is... Uh, sorry. Which of the following genres is uh, Richard Wright's native son associated with? Which of the following genres is Richard Wright's native son associated with? Is it satiric novel, suburban novel, picaresque novel or anthropological novel? Bolo? It is, is it satiric, suburban? It is suburban novel. Written from the suburbs about marginal people. Native son by Richard Wright. Which of Hemingway's works is based on his Italian war experiences directly. Which of Hemingway's works is directly based on his Italian war experiences? An American, uh, Lieutenant Frederick Henry is fighting in Italy. And he falls in love with a nurse. That is the story. An American is fighting in Italy during the war. And he is in love with a nurse. And he is going to desert the war. Live class, Madla? Rose, 10 o'clock. It is a farewell to arms. A farewell to arms is set in Italy. It is based on Hemingway's Italian war experiences. Yeah, he was an ambulance driver, Minu, correct. Mina Corde. Mina Corde. The most independent and high-powered woman character of Saul Bellow's novels occurs in which novel? Mina Cord. You may not have heard, but I am just giving you this question so that you will remember. It is a novel that is sometimes prescribed in universities also. It is The Dean's December. The Dean's December has a character, Mina Cord, very famous character. Okay? Right. John Updike's first novel, The Poor House Fair, appeared in which year? John Updike is a later novelist. It can't be 20 or 28. It is 1959. 1959. Guys, Will you remember all this? Will you read again? Is it helping you everyone? Tell me. Next question. Which of F. Scott Fitzgerald's works was left unpublished? Don't forget if you don't know these questions guys. This is only a means of remembering. Which of F. Scott Fitzgerald's novels was left unpublished? Bolo, it is The Last Tycoon. The Last Tycoon. Who is best known for his five book Leather Stocking series? This is part of Frontier Fiction. Leather Stocking is the nickname of a man. Natty Bumpo is also called Leather Stocking. That is his nickname. Who is best known for this Leather Stocking series, Bolo? It is James Fenimore Cooper. 
James Fenimore Cooper is remembered for leather stocking series. The line 124 was spiteful. Famous line that appears in 124 is referring to number of a house. It is the number of a house. 124 was spiteful. Famous line from Beloved by Tony Morrison. Beloved by Tony Morrison. Which of the following 20th century American women writers has won Romantic Times Career Achievement Award? Have you heard of this Romantic Times Career Achievement Award? It is Shana Abe. Shana Abe. Then, to whom did F. Scott Fitzgerald say, the very rich are different from you and me? He said this to his dear friend, Ernst Hemingway. He said this to Ernst Hemingway. Who wrote Thomas Wolfe's biography? Thomas Wolfe was a very important writer, right now. Yesterday also I, men I mentioned Thomas Wolfe. Who wrote his biography? I am just giving you the information. Elizabeth Noel. Elizabeth Noel. Okay. An excerpt from which of the following novels written by Amy Tan? Amy Tan's famous novel, Joy Luck Club, remember? But that is not the answer. A, fa uh, a novel by Amy Tan was published independently as Rules for Virgins. It is The Valley of Amazement. The Valley of Amazement. Yes. Amy Tan, whose famous novel is The Joy Luck Club. Now, match the following with their place of setting. The Assistant by Bernard Malamud, I think. Uh, Beautiful and the Damned. Ulysses. Ulysses, you know, is Dublin. 4B. Array. Only one option is there. Assistant is Brooklyn. Beautiful and the Damned is Boston. And Winter in the Blood is Central Montana. See, many times if you know one answer, you will know the rest of it. Ulysses Dublin only you need to know. John Dos Passos USA is a dash novel. Bolo. Easy. Yesterday also we said. 42nd parallel 1919. Remember? It is a collectivist novel. Means it's a group of novels. Trilogy it is. Hena. Collectivist. Then. Which of the following American writers wrote the screenplay for the motion picture Yellow Submarine of the Beatles? Have you heard it? Beatles motion picture Yellow Submarine. Who wrote the screenplay? Can you guess? I have given this in our notes also. It is Eric Segel who wrote Love Story. Famous book Love Story. Love Story. Then, Which among the novels listed below has won Pulitzer Prize? Pulitzer Prize winning novel. F. Scott Momaday's House Made of Dawn. F. Scott Momaday, Hena. F. Scott Momaday wrote House Made of Dawn. It is a 1968 novel. It was a very major novel in American literature, Native American literature. It is by F. I will write here so that you will remember. F. Scott Momaday. Native American. Will you remember guys? Like I am remembering, you can also remember. F. Scott Momaday's, uh, he's a Native American writer, House Made of Dawn. It won uh, Pulitzer. Which of the following American writers is associated with civil rights movement in Mississippi? Which of these writers is associated with civil rights movement? A famous writer, it is Alice Walker. Alice Walker's daughter is Rebecca Walker, isn't it? 
Alice Walker's daughter is Rebecca Walker. Which of Jack London's novels is a socialist novel? Which of Jack London's novels is a socialist novel? It is the Iron Heel. Then, which amongst the following novels by Jamaica Kincaid details the growth of a girl in Antigua, an island in the Caribbean? Jamaica Kincaid's which novel? It is Annie John. Annie John is the protagonist. Annie John. Will you remember everyone? Then, who among the following is not a narrator in the Sound and the Fury? In the Sound and the Fury, who of these right, who of these characters is not a narrator? The first section is narrated by Benji. The second section is narrated by Quentin. Third section is narrated by Jason. What is the Sound and the Fury? The Sound and the Fury is the story of the Comsons family. They are all talking about this character Caddy. But Caddy never comes in real time. Caddy is not seen there. Caddy is the answer. Caddy is not one of the narrators. Did you understand? Caddy is not a narrator. The other people are narrators. Okay guys. So we will end our session today now. Tomorrow also I will do recap of American literature. And we will start the next topic. Okay, and please uh, make sure you join all the classes because I will be dealing with a lot of new questions, etc. Caddy is their sister. Candice is their sister. So guys, did you like today's video? What type of people? They are Central University professors. Thank you guys. Thank you. Love you all. Uh, we, are done, we have done a lot of questions today. And I am sure you will get many questions in net also. Hena, thank you. Uh, we, have, we will have mock test series and everything. We have already. Plus, please.